At the 2018 World Pork Expo, I'm Mark Dorenkamp for Brownfield, joined by National Pork Producers Council President Jim Heimroll, a pig farmer from Ohio. Jim, trade is certainly the major topic this week in Des Moines. How are you and the industry in general staying positive with all the uncertainty? Well, you know, it's a challenge with all the issues that's been coming up in April. We had China and last uh, Tuesday or yesterday we had Mexico tariffs come on. It's always a challenge, but you know, we're farmers, we're eternal optimists. NPPC has held back in some of the news releases. You've seen other commodity groups that have been fairly critical of the administration and the handling of these uh, trade issues. Why has NPPC approached this the way that they have? Well, you know, the administration, we feel that we want to work together with them. We don't want them to, uh, we don't want to throw rocks at them because we need to be an ally with them. We want to work together with them. Uh, in April, we sat down with them and uh, kind of build up a game plan and build up a list with them and, and give them some ideas of what we needed to done to work with them. And they've worked hard with us to, to work on a, a list of mitigation issues. So uh, through that list, we hope we've gained some issues to be resolved. Uh, China, uh, we don't have any results yet, but uh, Mexico and NAFTA, I know it's been a roller coaster. We went up and down. I guess I'd like to say we could have had results, and then Mexico came and put the retaliation issue yesterday. Um, it's not going to be a, a short-term deal. It might be a long-term deal, I guess, is what we're kind of worried about. Uh, the one thing that I guess we want to tell our producers is that we are working very hard on the back channel to get something resolved. I guess one thing that we've been doing is working very hard on trying to get uh, some issues uh, done to resolve this issue sooner than later. But it's something that's not showing yet, and that's why we want to work together in the, for the long-term res resolutions. And exports are obviously critical to pork as you look at herd expansion. And the good news here domestically, we're seeing uh, increased slaughter capacity. That's right. We have five new packing plants, uh, four of them's online right now, one of them's to come online in January of 19 or somewhere around that turn of the year or something. So our production's been great in, in production here uh, throughout the last three years or something. Uh, so hopefully uh, we'll have an export market to go to. That's what our goals are right now. Um, so that's the only thing we can hope for, and I hope that the administration will hear us. I know we've uh, we've been one of the agriculture sectors that's probably been on the point of the spear. Uh, we've seemed like the, we were the first ones in the pork sector in April that took the blunt of it, and I guess we keep being told by the administration that we're going to be, you know, we, we've taken the deficit, we've taken the, the blunt of the spear, we're bleeding right now, and we want him to know, and I think he's heard through Secretary Berdu, he was in the White House uh, and talked to some of the administration, I hope he's hearing this, and he keeps promising we're doing something, now we need action because we can only bleed so long or bail water or however you want to say it. Amongst the turmoil, I'm sure it's still good to get together as an industry for an event like this one. Yeah, it's good. I mean, I know there's a lot of questions of what are we doing, what are we doing, and that's what our we, communication is one of the biggest things we're trying to relay that we have been talking to. And we had Secretary, Under Secretary Greg Eibach in the day from AMS and uh, APHIS, and then we have a USTR Secretary uh, Greg Dowd here tomorrow. I hope he's going to answer us a lot of questions on trade. Jim, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for coming today and enjoying the nice World Expo, our 30th anniversary. In Des Moines, I'm Mark Dorenkamp for Brownfield.